So today, before we begin this video, I think we all owe an apology to our planet Earth. Dear Earth, we are sorry. Sorry that we've made you a mess of a planet. Sorry we didn't realize how special you are. Sorry we didn't know what we had until it was gone. Sorry we put profit over people and greed over need. But we've realized our mistake now. And we haven't even found another planet to move to. So it is up to us to take care of this planet, our home. And how can we do that? By becoming an environment-loving superhero. Environment-friendly or eco-friendly is a term used to describe things that have low or no negative impact on nature or our environment. It's a hot topic today for many reasons. Before we get to understanding why this is important, let us see what exactly is our environment made of. Okay, think of your home and all the things in it. You have your family, you may have even pets. You also have furniture, electronic appliances, your books and perhaps even some potted plants. We also have occasional visitors like insects and bugs and ants. Basically, what I'm saying is that your home consists of a variety of living and non-living things that interact with each other. Therefore, you can consider your home as an ecosystem. How is this term ecosystem defined? Well, all the interacting organisms in an area together with the non-living constituents of the environment form an ecosystem. If you visit a garden, you will find different plants such as grasses, trees, as well as flowers bearing plants like rose, jasmine, sunflower, etc. There will also be animals like frogs, insects, birds, etc. All these living organisms interact with each other and their growth, reproduction and other activities are affected by the abiotic compounds of the garden. Thus, a garden is also an ecosystem. In other words, an ecosystem is a community of living and non-living things that work together. An ecosystem can be visualized as a functional unit of nature where living organisms interact among themselves and also with the surrounding environment. There are several ecosystems in nature which vary greatly in size. Something from a small pond to a forest to a never-ending ocean can be an ecosystem. Many ecologists regard the entire biosphere as a global ecosystem, as a composite of all local ecosystems on Earth. The global ecosystem is divided into two basic categories, the terrestrial and the aquatic ecosystem. Forests, grasslands and deserts are some examples of terrestrial ecosystems, whereas ponds, lakes, wetlands, rivers and Estories are some examples of aquatic ecosystems. In addition to these naturally existing ecosystems, humans have earned their own new ecosystem, the urban ecosystem known as man-made ecosystems or artificial ecosystems. Some examples of artificial ecosystems are gardens, parks and aquariums. Crop fields may also be considered as a man-made ecosystem. As I earlier said, all ecosystems are made up of two main components, abiotic and biotic components, which coexist. All non-living things make up the abiotic components of an ecosystem, that is air, water and soil 
are the abiotic components. Air provides oxygen for respiration, carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and other gases for various needs of the living beings. Water is essential for all living beings because all the metabolic activities happen in the presence of water. Soil is the reservoir of various nutrients which are utilized by plants. Through plants, these nutrients reach other living beings. Physical factors or climatic factors like light, temperature, pressure and humidity are the abiotic components of an ecosystem. Tutor me for more amazing video lectures. Download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.